Hi YouTube, this is Michelle, Shrinking Shell VSG, and I just want to do a quick update. Um, I am eight days post-op for my vertical sleep gastrectomy that I had on July 31st in Oxford, Mississippi with Dr. Michael King. Um, I started out my journey on January 27th, and my weight was 424 pounds. My pre-op visit with my doctor was on July 15th, and I checked today to see exactly what he had me down as my weight that day and I weighed 418 pounds. On July 31st, well prior to that, I had done a two-week uh, pre-liquid diet from the 15th until the 31st. And on the 31st, on the day of surgery, I weighed 388 pounds. Today, eight weeks post-op, I weighed 380 pounds. So between July 15th and August 8th, I have lost 38 pounds, which is amazing. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I've followed his instructions to the letter. My doctor is very, very cautious. I am still on a liquid diet um, after surgery until today. I was on nothing but clear liquids, no protein shakes, nothing, just clear liquids. And then from the next month, I will be on full liquids, which means I can have protein shakes, yogurt, applesauce, pudding, cream soups, all of which I'm pretty excited about because it's been a long time since I've had something more than just clear liquids. So I'm excited to get that started. Um, again, I'll be on that for a month until my follow-up visit with him, and then I'll get to go into soft foods, and I, which would be like fish, tuna, um, like cottage cheese, things like that, which I'm actually excited about that as well. So that's a, just a little bit of an update. I really don't have a lot. Uh, my surgery went beautifully. My recovery has been wonderful. Um, I've had very, very little pain. It feels more like a pulled muscle, the area where they pulled the stomach out of. Um, I've been very, very blessed with that. Uh, I've had no fever. I've had no nausea whatsoever. The first, I was a little bit nauseous when I stood up for the first time, but she told me that was common and I didn't have any after that. Um, as you know, I'm doing a bracelet on every 10 pounds I get, lose. I'm getting myself a uh, charm for my Pandora bracelet. And thanks to my awesome sister, she got me two of my three charms. I've got, she gave me one here that says Believe, one that says Sisters, and then I bought my set, whoops, there we go, Believe and then Sisters, and then this one is a birthstone for July, because that's my new birthday, it's July 31st, but I got my life back. Anyone on the fence about this, do your research, do your homework, um, make sure you've got your head into it, because this is a lifelong commitment. This is not something that as soon as you lose your weight, then you can go do whatever, you know, what you were doing before because you're going to end up right back where you were if you don't. You've got to change your habits. And this is a wonderful tool. I don't know. It saved my life. Pure and simple. It, it, is, it will save my life. I already feel better. I've lost 38 pounds. To put that in perspective, a gallon of milk weighs 8 pounds. So I've lost over four gallons of milk. I mean, try carrying four gallons of milk at one time. That's heavy, and I was putting that much weight on my body. It's just, when you really think about it, it's mind-boggling that our bodies can actually put hold all of this. Um, well, that's my update. I'm going to try to do updates on Wednesdays, since that would be the date of my surgery was on a Wednesday. But since my doctor's visit was today, and I wanted to get an official weigh-in on his scales compared to mine because mine is, they're not accurate whatsoever. So, uh, well, that's it for today. I'm sorry I'm a little bit rambly, but I am tired and I'm hungry. So I think I'm going to go have me some cream soup. You all have a wonderful night and God bless.